All right, once again, another update, and got Larry on board down there in the Southland, if he hasn't blown away being on the mountaintop. High winds down that way. Lots of high winds. Hi, Larry. Hello, sir. Uh, you know, we've got that mega storm that hit, well, I think you got the tail end of it. Then it went through Miami and uh, Florida, and, and it tore up all kinds of stuff. In fact, they said it was a record or some sort. Record storm that went through. I can't remember how they noted it, but it was a you know it was one heck of a storm. I know that we've had some real incredible storms and winds and you know all of that through here. And I you know it really goes on up to where you guys are. Yeah, of course y'all are getting the colder stuff. Yeah, yeah, we're we're not warming up much. Well, yeah. you know that's something that uh, I was watching uh, somebody from the Weather Channel this morning talking about. The weather, and that's what they were warning. They said, you know, there's this big influx of uh, the government basically telling uh, farmers to plant absolutely everything they can in corn and, and, you know, some of the stables. But they said that the problem is uh, they're expecting another freeze, and they said uh, there's not any planting uh, environment really to plant in right now. Well, of course, the other problem they've got is... You know, when you got fuel at four dollars a gallon, and you've got uh, kerosene or diesel fuel up there at four fifty or more, I mean, how are these farmers going to do it? And then you've got Monsanto and the rest of these guys pushing up the price of seeds. Actually, they're kind of pricing themselves out of the market. I, I, all I see coming is famine. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's one thing I were saying. Uh, this is getting to be so late in the planting season. And the the frost and the you know we had a frost uh, a couple of nights ago actually here, and still the frost and the freeze is coming down. And they said once they plant, you're going to go into the dry season right away almost. And they said there's just not uh, it's not favorable. No outlook of, of any kind positive. Well, that's what I'm looking at. I, I boy, I just see uh, I see problems. Ethanol's gobbling up all the corn, which of course they don't even have to use corn. Actually, but they do, mm-hmm. and uh, I just don't. I, I don't understand the reasoning behind any of this. Uh, they're, they're shooting themselves in the foot, and I and and after the remarks that Obama made about, well, you better just get used to the high prices. Uh, maybe you better go buy a smaller car. Those kind of remarks he's making. Um, what about the farmers that use these hyper tractors, you know, these super big tractors? Well, a lot of the farmers these days use all that big equipment that uses a lot, a lot of fuel. Yeah, they have to. Uh huh. Because they're planting so many acres. I mean, the whole thing is just, well, you know it as well as I do. We're heading into famine, and there's going to be a lot of elements that lead into it. Well, you talked about somebody shooting somebody in the, their cells in the foot. They're really shooting humanity in the foot. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think maybe that's the plan right along anyway. It, it, well, if it's not, they're doing a good job of it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, they, the Illuminati has their plans. The Lord has his plans. I guess it has to play itself out and you know you and i have been warning people for i don't know how many years to get ready some have some just mock you i got a mocking email the other day from somebody you know they're just sick and tired of the doom and gloom they're sick and tired of of uh you know doomsday it's not coming you're you're all crazy and, well, why are they listening then? well i i that's exactly it and of See, course that doesn't make any sense you know if, if people don't like what you're saying, you know, there's an on-off button. I tell people that all the time. However, on the other hand, I always thought there was a delete button on the computer, but people act like it doesn't exist, that you offend them, and they can't get rid of it. Exactly. You it, know? It makes you wonder what their reasoning is or what their thought patterns are. I mean, my answer to this kind of a person is the very type that would go to his neighbor and try to steal his food when the trouble did hit. Yeah, they're probably going to reach a point where they do want to eat, regardless of what the circumstances are. Yeah. You know, and, and we're, you know, we're rapidly approaching the point where it's going to become apparent that uh, there's not going to be enough food. Not for everybody. No. 
No, and, and the government is uh, buying up all this freeze-dried stuff. If you go on to uh, Emergency Essentials website or the Freeze Guy Dried and whatnot, you know, th- mm-hmm. those people, a lot of their stuff is not available. That's all, true. That is true. It's all been bought up. And now the hospitals are complaining that the emergency supplies for medicines, antibiotics, are not available. I think that a lot of this has probably been relocated to these uh, survival centers, so to speak. Most of them deep underground. Yeah, the hidey holes. Yeah, the hidey holes. Uh, and, <laughs> you know, apparently we're approaching the time frame to where some people are going to go to the hidey holes. I think we are. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of like this budget thing that's going on in Washington. Why would anybody with a sane mind want to be spending trillions of dollars you don't have unless there's an ulterior agenda involved in it? You know, throughout the years, the only people that I knew that just really uh, bloated, it, so to speak, uh, were people that were found out they wasn't going to live very long. Yeah. Maybe that's exactly what the deal is. Maybe they know they're never going to have to pay it back anyway. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's very true. Yeah. And there won't be enough humanity around to demand they pay it back. That's right. <laughs> that's the plan, I think. <laughs> I guess so. Tokyo, you said there was, uh, I've got an article here, just says magnitude 7.4, but that was two quakes, was it not? That was two earthquakes, and, and the the a matter of fact, I I saw these when they went off. Um, they were both seven point fours, and uh, Stan and Holly posted the the double seven point four quakes. And the ironic thing is, they were in different locations. It's not. It's just not a, an aberration where uh, the computer made two of the same one. Okay. Okay. And as a matter of fact, Holly's got a note. I don't know if you're on their side of it right now or not. Uh, no. No. But she made a note under this double 7.4 earthquakes when they first went off off of uh, the east coast of Honshu, Japan, and said, uh, how long do you think it'll take USGS to uh, cleanse this? <laughs> and then she noted later, about 45 minutes, because at 45 minutes later, they had not only erased both 7.4s, they actually included only one and made it a 7.1, so things wasn't as bad, and hardly any aftershock. Okay, and the tsunami warning, did that get... They canceled it in about 90 minutes. And this was not too far from the original quake, was it? No, this is very, very close to the original. Matter of fact, this was only uh, less than 100 miles from Fukushima, which is where they've got all the uh, nuclear problems, you know, with those plants there. Mm Mm-hmm. What in the world is that? I think somebody's making a phone call. <laughs> Wait, you're on the. Uh... Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, see there, Stuart, my my <laughs> assertion was correct. <laughs> however, however, uh, you know the interesting thing was the fact that they they labeled this seven point one that they say you know what was what actually occurred as an aftershock. You and I both know that is an earthquake. That is not an aftershock. And an aftershock. You're calling all these things aftershock. If you bring up, there's a 3D thing that I have, uh, and I'll just swing it around here to Japan. And there are some. Well, while you're on that, if it's 3D, what is the antipodal to that location on Japan? Uh, Let's see. That would be down. Wouldn't be around Puerto Rico, would it? No, it's more. In the uh, mid Atlantic, but south. Oh, okay. Uh, the southern mid Atlantic? Yeah, kind of down by a uh, little tip of Africa somewhere, mm. from what I can see anyway on this globe. Well, they are warning about some really uh, increasing volcano activity in Africa. Something's going on, folks. I mean, it really is. I mean, everything is waking up. They're, they get these warnings. I mean, here, Puerto Rico. Just now, Puerto Rico's <laughs> really been rocking. I've been watching the last few days, and, and the, hey, there's a lot of swarms happening down around Puerto Rico. Now, they're not big. They're below four in range. 
But there's a but, lot, lot of them. But there, yeah, there's a whole <laughs> lot of them, and some of them were within 50 miles of uh, San Juan, Puerto Rico, which I mean that's right there, Puerto, Puerto Rico, which is an area San Deo had reported to really, really watch, you know. And you, and you still got some stuff going on here in your area there uh, of Arkansas. Oh, yeah, that's uh, that's really moving this morning. As a matter of fact, one of them was a three-point, I believe, uh, four or seven. I yeah, three-point four, exactly. and you had a 2.5 just recently. Yeah, but there's also a number of, of over twos. There's probably seven or eight of those earthquakes that are under 2.5 that they didn't post that were twos and above. Okay, and I also noticed that uh, Mexico had a 6.3. They did, yeah. Or 6.5, rather. And then a 4.3 right next to it. I mean, well, it seems like the plates are just beginning, like Stan says, pressure is building from the sun. And uh, you got any news on the sun, by the way, as long as we're drifting that way? Well, it is active. Uh, there's been some uh, CMEs thrown off of it, but they're not Earth-directed presently. So, you know, we mar- actually last week barely missed uh, one of those that may have just grazed us just a little bit. Mm-hmm. And uh, so, so the sun is more active, and they're saying it'll get more active than that. Stan was on uh, the Acceleration Radio Show last night with uh, Lynn Marzulli. Yeah, what do you have to say? And, well, he was very interested in the fact and still very adamant in showing his data, uh, or, or in other words, his evidence, so to speak, of the uh, seismometers that are going off at Yellowstone that have to be, he said, linked to the Japanese earthquakes. Because every time you're having one there, the seismometers of Yellowstone go active. I wonder what the uh, underwater... He said, he said there was a direct magma linkage, you know, between Yellowstone and the Japan area that had the big quake. And as a matter of fact, uh, he was very, very concerned, and I want to say this before I forget it, uh, there's a, there's a, and it's been an increase in that Mount Rapier uh, volcano in um, New Zealand. New yeah. Zealand. And he said that they have found out now that the uh, lake water in Lake Topo is boiling. Isn't that the place he had that vision, or was it another volcano? No, no, it was uh, it was Topo. That was the one, and that's why he's very concerned. Apparently, they're not having a lot of activity under Topo, but because of the uh, water boiling now, they say that the magma apparently is moving up. If I remember the vision, that's exactly what happened. He was at this resort down by the lake, uh-huh. And the water was heating up, and they were going to get scorched, and he warned them to get out because that was when it was going to blow. Yeah. Huh. And, and, and well, actually, when he did that and issued a warning anyway, it was they when ca- they he, he got uninvited to uh, New Zealand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, um, Colorado State University has just issued a new... 2011 hurricane season report, and they're claiming 16 named tropical storms and hurricanes. Nine will become hurricanes. Uh, Five are expected to be major hurricanes, meaning three, fours, or fives. And they think some of this could uh, be like uh, 1999, 2006. Mm-hmm based on oceanic and atmospheric features. Have you heard any more about that? I mean, are they? Uh, is everybody holding to that? Well, they seem to be holding. The latest I heard was the fact that they have announced less hurricanes, but bigger ones? stronger hurricanes. The ones that actually hit land will be worse, mm. is what they're saying now. And that was actually a weather report earlier this morning, you know, the, because of the... Uh, Supposedly the leftover heat, you know, in the Gulf and, and those regions. And, uh, well, it's just, it, it's kind of a clash. 